Now, that kind of talk this week dragged Australia's share market to a two-year low. There are, of course, complex reasons for that. But in the nation's capital, inside Parliament House, this was essentially the nature of our economic debate. <laughs> The Deputy Prime Minister has been named as Euro Money's Finance Minister of the Year. This is a Treasurer who is the Stephen Bradbury of Finance Ministers. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. That polls suggest that you're on track to lose your seat at the next election. Well, look, thanks very much. Are you comfortable with this title? Oh, look, it's, uh, it's very satisfying. It's a gong for our country more than for any individual. A tribute to the hard work of millions of Australians. An award for the Deputy Prime Minister, but really an award for our nation. And I do hope that when he got the gong, uh, Wayne sent a nice thank you note to uh, Peter Costello. <coughs> I'm most certainly happy to give uh, a number of people a pat on the back. Of course they're a bit sensitive over there. Peter Costello never got the award. If there is a trophy for this award, perhaps it should spend a week at your place and a week at Peter Costello's place. He would never give it back. <laughs> <laughs> I advise that the world's greatest treasurer will be absent from question time today. Should I praise the most incompetent treasurer Australia has ever had? Quite extraordinary. Who were the previous recipients of the award? We've had two Slovakian ministers, a Serbian, a Nigerian, a Bulgarian. 2001, a Pakistani. Insulting a number of nations with whom we have relationships. In 2005, their award for the best investment house went to it. Wait for it. Lehman Brothers! Hey! Lehman Brothers! This is not a treasurer of which Australia could be proud. I think he is, without doubt, a person of, of and, and most peculiar talent. Mr Swan deserves commendation for a person who's now got a $205 billion in gross debt. That's what this award from Euro Money magazine is all about. We do not offer our heartfelt congratulations to this treasurer. The least graceful performance in the history of this parliament. It's not about grace, mate. It is about hypocrisy. Can you say congratulations? What a small-minded, humourless and grim response that is. I'm not going to go and say, mate, you know, you've screwed up on all these things, but, hey, look, you're the best in the world. We learnt that at school, that if somebody does get an award, you congratulate them. When Paul Keating won the award, the then opposition showed grace and congratulated him. I came across the ringing endorsement of the previous winner, the famously Flinty Keating's instinctive reaction was to tell us to just F off. <laughs> Paul Keating likened himself to Placido Domingo. Which maestro would you say that you were? What I'm into is, uh, is rock and roll and I'm a great uh, Bruce Springsteen fan, so there you go. Let's go!